Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector, and this is the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Super Perfect Cell from Bandai Spirits. This is the overseas version of the December 2021 Ichiban Kuji Prize F Perfect Cell, and I got him from Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description box below. He's up for pre-order. I guess he was sold out once, so... Be quick. This is the Toei Animation sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let's know that he is run out of bootleg. And now let's take him out of the box. This footage is from my Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot unboxing live stream. For some reason, it's in 720p, even Actually, though my I'll camera is set to 4K. So my apologies in the drop Anyways. in resolution. Take him out. How much was the perfect sell? The perfect sell cost me $49.99 on Big Bad Toy Store. So this is what it's like when you take them out. You got the plastic eggshell crate thingy. And you got more tape. What you get is the figure itself with his arms crossed and his wings and the support that goes around his ankle the wings are hollow Fig the figure is um not hollow. Alrighty then, here he is put together where he stands at 13 and a quarter inches and weighs one pound, 8.9 ounces. I expect him to weigh an extra pound more, but he's pretty light for a figure his size. Of course, he is hollow, so that explains it. Bandai Spirits did a fantastically awesome job with this figure. The sculpt looks amazing. One might say it's perfect. So, I don't mind the crossed arm pose, but I think it would have been cooler if it had like his hand out for a key blast or something. And they captured his likeness extremely well. Looks exactly like his anime counterpart. In the October Ichiban Kuji for this year, which is Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Ultra, we are getting an imperfect cell. I can't wait for that. Hopefully somewhere down the line we'll get semi-perfect cell. I'm pretty sure we will. I think it'd be cool if, like, a, for a last one prize, maybe, we'll get a cell when he's about to explode. If they do make one like that and it's the last prize, I really hope it gets an overseas release. This might be a spoiler for some, so spoiler warning. And I'm sure somewhere down the line, maybe soon, we'll get a Cell Max figure. And now for some figure comparisons. First, we're going to compare him to his fellow villains. We got the Super Decisive Battle of the World Division Vegeta. And Nappa from the same line as Vegeta. And here is compared to the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Great Ape slash Uzaru Vegeta. And the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Z Frieza in his final form. And here is compared to the Figure Arts Zero EX Majin Buu. And the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Kid Buu. Here he is next to the Back to the Film Final Form Cooler. By the way, I just ordered History of the Film Janimba from eBay. Hopefully you get an overseas version, so I don't have to spend 90 to 130 bucks for each figure. And here is next to the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Super, Super Saiyan Broly. And next to the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Omega Shinron. And now for the good guys. Here he is compared to the Master Stars Peace Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the Battle Damage version, and the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Super 
Ultra Super Saiyan Future Trunks. And here is compared to the Master Stars Peace Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Goku. And here is compared to the Grandista Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, the Manga Dimensions version. And the Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus Z Super Saiyan Goku, the special version. And here is compared to the Extreme Saiyan Ultra Instinct Goku and the Greatest Saiyan Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. If there are any other figures I'm going to compare them to, then let me know in the comment section below. And I'll reply back as soon as possible with an image of the comparison, assuming that figure is not packed away. FYI, if it's not like this size and bigger, it's packed away most likely. When I unboxed this figure in the live stream, I said there was no shading. There actually is shading. A very tiny bit. Very subtle. Almost non-existent. I noticed a tad bit on his arms right here. The arm right here, like the, I don't know, muscle. Anyways, right here, and then like right there. And then a very tiny, subtle bit right here, uh, kind of above the knees. And shading on his feet, his boots. And then a tiny bit on the back side, again, his boots slash feet. Some right there, and a little bit on the back of his head. It may or may not be some on this part of his tail. Uh, there could have and should have been more, like other figures, but... What can you do, I guess? <laughs> oh, and there's some on his hands. In between little areas right there, like the knuckle areas, you know. But anyways, I would highly recommend getting this figure. It's an amazing figure. It's a must-have for your collection. And I think it's the uh, biggest cell figure next to the X-Plus cell. If you want a big cell figure and can't afford X plus cell, then this is the one to get.